So actually, it's not a question, but I got this question and then I thought it was good. We've talked about it, but I wanted to go a bit deeper and do it again. So I got the question, what characteristics make up a good client? Mm. Now we've gone back and forth on this and um, I want to do it again because I feel like there's a couple of things we missed. And I want to go a bit deeper on like, because I'm in this like, what does it take to be the best yep. thing at the moment? I'm doing the champion's blueprint. Someone told me it's going to be too big. <laughs> I found a way around it. It's coming soon. So I've been talking, I've been rattling my brain and like, who who do I have that needs and wants to level up? And then yep. what's the example of that? And what can we do in terms of practice? Mm-hmm. You know, because you want to give people things to do that actually make them better. Yep. Not just talk about shit, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to make this resource where I'm like, if you do a personal mission statement, if you unpack your values, if you set your goals and you know how to, if you can set up your lifestyle to, to you know, reflect your, your outcomes, you basically have this blueprint of like success. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And you can take that across everything, but I'm trying to do it for like bodybuilding, physique transformations, etc. Yeah. So I had to unpack what were the characteristics that you needed to embody to be the best. Yep. Um, so this is what I come up with. So they're really sta- standard, but I want to elaborate a little bit more. So growth in terms of like me- mentality. Yeah. And I know we talk about that in terms of like belief in themselves and et cetera. But sometimes I feel like, and I, and, and I want you to chime in here, here as well. I feel like in some cases, a lot of people don't want to try something if there's an, another option. So I'll give you an example. So growth growth is like I try something, it doesn't feel that great. I do it again to make to see if I'm better. I do it again to try and see an improvement. The amount of people that I have ex- have seen or experienced or coached where they do an exercise like this feels shit. Mm. I want to do this exercise instead. And I'm like, could we not unpack yeah. why this doesn't feel great? Have a couple more goes at it. Yeah. Um, even like the diet side of things. So I think that that like because it's easy to to unpack growth overall and just be like, well, you have to believe in yourself and you've got to set up a plan that mm. shows that you're gonna <clears throat> work towards growing and improving yourself at something. Yeah. So it's an overarching thing. That's great. Mm-hmm. But it's like I feel like the little things. You know, when you give someone a like something like I've got clients, man. You don't say I, I don't even hear from them. I'm like, are you okay? <laughs> and they're just like, yeah, man. Yeah. They're just like you just I doing the thing. just doing it. Yeah. And you throw in movements and this and that, and they're just like figuring it out where you've got other people where they're just like, oh, this doesn't feel great. Like we should change. Yeah. I want to do this exercise instead. Or yeah. this, I've tried this diet for like four days and nothing's happened <laughs> or a week or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So I feel like if you like are trying to embody the characteristics of being the best, like there is cases where it's like, yeah, the first time you do something, like you're not going to be great at it. Yeah. You're not going to feel it where you're supposed to. You're not going to this, you're not going to that, but maybe we should unpack like why because you want to have that tool as part of your arsenal yeah like i want to give someone an exercise and go this i picked this movement because it works like you know x part of your body and it's you know like probably a movement that you can't really make up elsewhere yeah and then they go oh this doesn't feel good i want to do something else so yeah. like, why don't you learn how to do it yeah so you have so that so you have it in your box <clears throat> yeah and it's you usually know? like it's, i see it most often <laughs> from a strength standpoint it's like you shit at it Absolutely. It's like a feel shit because you shit at it. And because you shit at it, I can see it four other places in your training. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I know for Mike, like if I look at myself as an example, it's like every muscle group that sucks. So it's like mo- movements in those muscle groups. Like I hate. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, because you shit at it. <laughs> and your muscles reflect it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think you're like, growth is a good place to start. Then ownership next is like obviously super important. Mm. Like it's your responsibility. Like yeah. at the end of the day, like you, how you act, how you behave, how you think, what you do, all of those things, like you, that's on you. Yeah. You know, like you, you, you shouldn't have a mentality where you're trying to blame other people. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, there's other variables at play, but like that person needs to make sure that when they show up, they show up. And when they don't, they own the fact that they didn't. Yeah. You know, um, so I figured that was like kind of universal across the board. So the next one I have is the, is the ability to take on feedback. Yep. Because I don't know about you, but you got to have some pretty hard conversations mm. um, to your clients sometimes. And you know that it's awkward and, you know, a, a younger version of me would have avoided them. But then I'm just like, well, this is my job. 
Like yep. my job is not to be a cheerleader, be a yes man, gas people up all the time. Like just say what they want to say because mm. you're trying to appease them temporarily. Yeah. Like I'm I'm looking at it's like you hired me for a job. The job is X, X outcome. Mm-hmm. I need to talk and think and act and say with your best interest in mind. Yeah. And mine obviously as well because I'm hired to do a role. Like, mm-hmm. So I sit here and it's like, hey man, you can go out on the weekends and get fucked up and you can drink and take drugs and this and that, but you want to be a professional bodybuilder. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, they don't really line up, you know? Yeah. Um, or yeah, like it's like this person just wants to have their cake and eat it too. Go out every night, eat dinner, <clears throat> this and that, like socialize on the weekend, get fucked up. And then it's like, oh, I'm not losing any weight. Yeah. And it's like, well, let's have a look at what it takes. Yeah. Or the person that has what you want. Mm. And you can do that in business. You can do that in you know, yeah. your social life, family, yeah, the gym. And you go, well, what are these people doing? Yeah. Success leaves clues. You know? And you need to be able to take that feedback on and not get upset. Mm. That's what I feel. Have you ever given feedback to someone and they've gotten like pissed off at you? Not that they've told me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but if you ever given feedback and then like two weeks later, they're just like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <clears throat> more I've done it with more around like behavior within the coaching yeah not behavior in terms oh it was a little bit actually yeah yeah it's just like you're this is what's happening yeah I, I can't fix it you're either happy with it or you're not yeah and what you want to do with that information is up to you mm. and it was like a week delay yeah I'm gonna finish yeah. up um, and that's just not gonna make a vibes to me yeah. Like if you if you want to be, again like going with the the idea of like being the best, right? Yeah. Bring your best um or if you want to get into an echelon of a competitive nature and be in the in the discussion, you know. Yeah. No one knows you're going to win. Yeah. But it's like if you want to be in there, it's like you have to be able to take the feedback on and it like it's not nice. I know? think most most pushback I've gotten is in terms of like when people have left, it's cultural. Yeah. So I'm like I won't accept this. Yeah. It's like if you're um, not team player. If you're not ownership, if you're not like the yep. behavior stuff, I'll deal with. Yeah. In terms of like behaviors with your training and all yeah, that, it's like yeah, what yeah. do we need to do? How do we get you back on track? Blah blah blah. It's like start being toxic. I'm fucking done. Mm. And I push that real quick. Yeah. Um, and then with obviously with like I'm going through it right now. I've got a few people that are real close. I had one of my guys last night, and was like big numbers. And I'm like, that's high, bro. Sorry, but that squat's high. Yeah. And that, that bench has red lights. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, well, practice how you play, man. I'm going to tell you now. Absolutely. I don't want you to find out on platform. And like straight away, just like, I want you to. Like, rinse me. Mm. Like That's what you're there for. It's I job. I want all white lights. I'm like, good. Yeah. Like, it's fine. But every, it's hard when it's a big PB. Yeah. And they're like, Yes. I did it. And then you're like, mm, mm, eh, sorry, did. but you did. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. But long term, that serves both of you. Yeah. You know, it's like immediate discomfort. Yeah. It's that old age saying, right? It's immediate discomfort for, you know, kind of future um, benefits, yeah. right? Um, so, yeah. like and, and everything that we're saying here, like, applies to the coach as well. Like, I'm not sitting here going like, like, you could literally say what makes a good coach and a good client. Yeah. They, like the, the coach all needs the both. All three he of needs those to, are the same. Yeah, 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 he yeah. needs to know that if there's a challenge, like, can he overcome it and yeah. actually go outside of his square and, like, you know, network and get bring people in and all that kind of stuff. Like, if you don't have that, yeah. then you're just trying to fix every problem that you're not, you're not uh, skilled to do. Correct. And it's the same with the ownership. Like, you can't just blame everybody. Yeah, or no. the client. Yeah. Yeah, and you need to be able to take on feedback yeah. too. It's like, oh, I don't really like this. This is a bit shit. Like, well, not this is a bit shit. It probably yeah. hurts people's feelings, but... But you have to decide what's necessary in a program as well. Like when... Absolutely. A lot of my coaching at this point is co- kind of collab. Yeah, where well, you're coaching back personal and trainers and people who know how to train. So it's like, yeah, those so it's discussions like, are pretty high. This hurts my back. I'm like, okay, well, yeah. why are we doing it? Is it important? Do I need to spend three weeks trying to fix your form so mm. it doesn't? Or can we do something else? Yeah. We can do something else, which is also going to carry over to you be be- being better at it later. We'll just do yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. If if that's if that can be done. Yeah. Um, and then the last one I have is coach uh, communication and relationships. Yeah. So you have to have this like, you don't necessarily have to be friends. Like I get it. Like you're hired for a job. Like, you know, you don't need to be buddies and hang out and all that kind of stuff. 
but there needs to be this like free flowing communication, a lot of mm-hmm. trust, uh, the ability to have conversations and just have that like confidence as a client. Like if you make a mistake, like you're going to get called out on it, but it's like, you're not going to get fucking like, there is no fear behind it. You know, yeah. like that's what you want. You want honesty. And then that leads back to the feedback part though, because the client needs to know that the coach is going to, pull them up on it at the same time yeah so there needs to be no fear about it but they need to know mm. so like, and that ties yeah. back into the growth thing right it's like you've got to absolutely be, this is what it is yeah how do we solve the problem yeah yeah because if you have those quadrants like because then they all do link so that's why it, they probably do make a quadrant right and then unless i'm missing any yeah so free flowing communication trust like and then ownership uh growth and then the ability to take on feedback. Like, you're fucking unstoppable, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think the that coaching relationship thing is being able to be objective about the situation. Yeah. My wife uses this in, like, relationship arguments. It's like, it's both of you versus the problem, yeah, not versus each other. Yeah. So if you can, in a coaching relationship, being like, this is the problems here. Yeah. The problem is you don't stick to your diet on the weekend. The problem isn't, you don't fucking stick to your diet on the weekend. Yeah. The problem is this is the thing that happens is that your macros don't get met on the weekend. Mm. How do we both solve that problem? Yeah, absolutely. Not you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you just need to stick to your macros. Like, yeah, it's like that yeah. doesn't... Like what But what can we change? Yeah. I reckon I had three clients yesterday just be, that I was like, stop chasing perfection on the weekend and hit your protein. Yep. Everything else will be sweet. They all come yeah. back. They're like, oh man, it's so much. Yeah. It's so simple. It makes it so much easier. Yeah. yeah. So big weight lifted. Yeah. And then I think the other layer that I would put into what you've already said and that is in my guide called the Get Strong, Feel Hot Blueprint is everyone talks about the why and they talk about it as like find a deep why. And it's like, some people will go down like the health route, like I'm going to be 60 and still be able to mm. play with my kids. And then some people obviously get one of the examples I use, like you have the breakup and it's like revenge bod time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like super motivated for six weeks. And then, yeah. I then you get a misses. It. Yeah. You get a misses <coughs> and then, like you just go back to normal. It's done. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so that's not it. Nah. And I think even people I work with, it's not the photo shoot. It's not the powerlifting competition. It's not the whatever that gets you there every day. No, of course not. So I've started calling it a micro why. What yep. happens in that session? What reward do you get? What feeling do you get that's enough for you to do it when you don't want to? Yep. So I think Jess and I were speaking about it on the pod. Um, I think one of the biggest ones for me is like competency. Yep. It's like if I can go to the gym and do something that's really hard for an hour... I feel able and competent to do that everywhere else. It's not like like Rogan does the, my workout's the hardest part of my day and everything else is... It's like, no, sometimes there's shit that's harder than working out. Yeah. But the competency, the confidence that come with, comes with a feeling of competency of doing it allows everything else to be a little bit easier. Mm. So that's worth showing up for. Yeah. It's a good way rational, I think. Yeah. Uh, do you know what have you I probably have never thought about it but like everything it, it can just be like I'm not a prick <laughs> for the rest of the day which yeah, is a lot yeah. of people's answer to um, I don't look at it from that way but the way you explain it makes sense yeah you know? I just like know that the re- why I do what I do just overlaps with what is important to me yeah and the like, important to me are like who I am and what I want to represent and that's like deep line value shit right yeah yeah so it's yeah. like as long as the workouts express that the job expresses it. So where, yeah. So when you go train, you feel, yeah. I'm like, like this is hard. This and I like the challenge. I yeah. like growth. I like success. I like, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember what the fifth one is. Um, but yeah, like those things. Like I'm doing those things because they express, and yeah. then I just love, like, and then it's like, yeah, side goal, vanity. Yeah, it feels nice to feel good in your skin. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, I think as long as you come at it with like. There has to be some logic to your actions, mm. and there has to be some deep-seated like motive. Uh, sorry, uh, fuel to to show up when you don't want to. Yeah. So even if I have like a shit day and I can't be fucked, I'm like, yeah, but who you are is somebody who shows up. 
Yeah. Because your goal, like your values as a person reflect that. So, yeah, so it's a, I, I hate the word because it's just been fucking yeah. slammed down, but it's just an alignment thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Because if then it's like, because I know what it's like to be out of alignment because then you feel shit. Yeah. You know, you're just like why, like there can be really cool things happening and you still don't yeah. feel good. Yeah. You know, you, like money in the bank, mm. roof over your head, all this stuff that people would sit there and just go, oh, I would fucking die for this. Yeah. And then you're just, you just feel empty. Mm. And it's like, you're just not acting the way that you, that's important to you. Yeah. That it reflects actually who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. So I think like the way you rationalize it is perfect. The way that I go around, it works for me. Mm. I think you've just got to be able to go from who who's this person who does this person want to represent as you know and and what reflects that mm. to every day like needs to be a representation of that yeah and as long as you can connect those dots you don't get lost yeah but it's like most people don't have that connection and then that's when it's like oh i do it for a month and yeah you know it's not it's not for me mm. I, or, or i like this is when i normally quit yeah so of course because you're not you don't have any propelling motivations deep down yeah, to just make fat. you come when you yeah. don't want to losing the fat isn't yeah it's not yeah building yeah. the physique like you could look fucking amazing and people yeah. just say yeah it's like i don't want to go to gym so yeah. it's not about the like sometimes like everything we do is not about the outcome sometimes yeah like it's not about like having a big ripped like it, it is and it's not there's more like sorry it is but there's more yeah so it's about like what it took to get there yeah. and who the person was or is that did that yeah because that carries over, like, I would be very surprised yeah, if they're... someone was, like, a high-functioning person in the gym, immaculate physique because they track their nutrition and everything that, and then the rest of their life, they're just, like, cluttered, disorganized, lazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't, just doesn't add up. Yeah, unless it's, like, a dysfunction. That that's your, yeah, that's your yeah. thing, right? Maybe but, highly likely then. Like, there'd be yeah. more of them than less. But yeah. more, more often than not, it is a, yeah you'd get everything else together as well. Yeah. And if, you, if you're if you one of those people now where you're just like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? You, you probably just haven't gone, like you probably do a lot of things and just don't know why. Yeah. And that's fine, but it's like maybe just work out what it is. So it's like, all right, well, I do like, why do I go to the gym and this and that? It's like, okay, well, just like, what are, what are the things that are important to me as a person? Mm -hmm. And then connect those dots. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you'll make better life choices anyway. Like without this going fucking like, ooh, like everywhere. <laughs> But it's like, you, you kind of do. Like, your holidays look different. Your weekends look different. Saying no is easier. Who you hang out with. Yeah, like, all of that stuff is easier. Yeah. You know, rather than just getting caught up in the week to week where you're just, like, you know, uh, trying to avoid FOMO. Yeah. And then eventually you look back and go, fuck. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of progress I left on the table, like, in life as well as, like, my physique or whatever. Mm. Where if you're just like, no, the, I value this as a person. This is who I am and how I want to represent myself everything else from there becomes easy to make a decision on. Yeah. Yeah, I've just watched my wife do it. It was wild. So Amy had never been to the gym by herself. Yeah. Pre-LJ. Yeah, right. And then her... I didn't, well, I did not know that at all. No, nah, yeah. never. So had trainers, group Pilates, gone with me. Used to train when I was working, but to just get up and go, never yeah. happened. Um, so post-baby first session back she went by herself yeah it was just like the wire's different yeah because she was the um put on a bit of weight get upset when i put my clothes on to go out for dinner train for eight weeks okay i look better now yeah i'll stop <laughs> like that was the cycle for yeah. her for years yeah um because it wasn't there was no reward for it yeah to do the thing on a daily basis it just yeah. wasn't and that just wasn't a reflection of like the other things that are more important yeah whereas now it's like i want to be this person so i'm just yeah. gonna do the thing and the fear goes away it's yeah. really interesting to watch yeah yeah so if you want to be the best that's how i do it and i'll take care of that in my guide with activities when's that coming we'll be out by the, the, this nah no absolutely not mine is go get mine i'm keeping them hanging go get mine go mine's get gonna be perfect so i'll roll it out once yours is finished so that we don't get confused okay cool. continuity just go to both our pages get over there it's absolutely um all right so these are just random questions now yeah um the winter so, games doing pretty well should mention that one. Yeah, the winter game's doing great. Yeah, yeah I good. actually will mention that at the end of this podcast so that people can get their copy of it because it took me ages to make <laughs> and I haven't mentioned it once. <laughs> winter game, Lincoln Buyer. Yeah, yeah, um, SCC Fit on Instagram. 